it's Hope and welcome. Um, it's the first Thrifty Thursday I've done in a little while. I'm going to maybe try to start doing these weekly instead of monthly to kind of keep up with some of the things I have found. I actually made it to the Goodwill today. Sorry, the camera is in a different position because things have been wacky. I made it to Goodwill today and I'm hoping to maybe go to the Dollar Tree after a while. But I found a couple things at the Goodwill. Of course, I went and checked out the tins. And I had this one, y'all. Look how cute. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, this one is really in the I don't know. It's kind of a purpley pink in it. And it had something in it. And, oh, dear. The little girl taped it up for me because it was coming apart. And let's see if I can get this off. There we go. All right, so it's got a bunch of different little craft supplies. Like this is beads and pom-poms and Google eyes. How crazy. Um, there's a whole pack of sequins, some, I think this is elastic thread, more beads, um, pom-poms, some kind of tinsely stuff, ton of plastic beads, and then a whole container of sequins. But again, these are great old jars. Um, it's a great pen. I think it was $3.99 for the whole thing, and I'm like, yeah. Sorry, the camera position, I can't quite get it where I want it. Um, like I said, things have gotten tossed around. What else did I find? Oh, right near the tin, they have craft supplies. I got this little baggie. I'm going to open up so we can see what it all is in it. It is. It was only a book $1.99, and I could tell that it was like sewing stuff. Oh, y'all. They use a lot of tape at the at the Goodwill, don't they? Alright. Let's see what we've got. So there were some bobbins for a Singer sewing machine. I have a Singer sewing machine. I don't know if they're class 66 bobbins or not, but I can use bobbins for other things. Um, let me go ahead and tell you the main thing I was looking for was stuff to use in my as assemblage for my 100 day project because my project is assemblage, hashtag assemblage 100. So I was looking for stuff like that. Um, here's some Singer needle, uh, some button cards. These look like they're the Walmart brand. Yeah, Walmart. Um, but solid buttons. Some iron on patches. Can't go wrong with that. There's... Um, shoelaces, some more sewing machine needles. I am hoping these will fit my sewing machine because that would be awesome. There were several crochet hooks I could see in there, which makes me excited because I just learned to crochet. But y'all, this is tiny. I don't even know. This is a size D. It is tiny. Actually, I think I needed a size D anyway for something coming up. Huh. Um, no idea what size these are, but they look like this one. This one feels like it may be bone. Um, and this one feels more wood than bone. But I don't know. They could both be like bone or... I don't know. Alright. Then there's thread. Um, a brown. A gray. This is like a heavier thread. So maybe it's something more for the... Um, I don't know. It's more... It's nylon. It feels like. So I don't know what that's for. Oh, and there's a, new, a loose sewing machine needle in there. So I'm going to put this stuff back in here in a minute. Um, let's see, I found this bamboo utensil tray. Like I said, I'm doing my assemblage stuff. And I thought, oh shoot, I'll pick that up in a minute. I thought this would be perfect for um, one of the assemblages. So there's that. This is also really great for the assemblage. It's, I don't even know, it looks like a trunk of some kind. And so it's like a train case. Um, it's got a hook up here to hang something. Um, this to tie things in and a little drawer. So it's like a mini train case. It's super lightweight, but I think I can definitely use this for my assemblage. And then the last thing I got, which I'm not exactly sure everything that's in here. Let me see if I can move some of this stuff. All right. Is one of these. Oh, girl, I got to move this camera. Hold on. Okay. Um, it's like a game box thing that flips open. Turn it sideways, maybe. Um, and some of the stuff is just plastic. So, like, this is a plastic um, cribbage and um, Moncala. Thing, um, but the textures need this is glass. 
Um, yeah, that's a glass chess board. Then there's these um, double-sided, like backgammon, and I think it's backgammon chess, um, or checkers. And then just a ton of game pieces. So there's more game pieces in here than I thought there were, which makes me happy. So there's like regular sized um, checkers pieces. There's little um, flat stones for different things, I guess, for like an Othello game. And then baggies of these chess pieces, um, miscellaneous like pieces here. Um, I don't know if that's for the Moncala. And then these are like cribbage pieces and some dice. So yeah, I'm pretty stoked about that. I can definitely um, use some of this in my assemblage. So that was a big score. Like I said, I'm hoping to maybe try to head out to the Dollar Tree. All right, so I did get to run. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> um, I did get to run to the Dollar Tree. Woo! I went to a new one that they just put up, and it is a Dollar Tree Plus. I was hoping it was, so that was super exciting. I didn't buy any of the Plus items. <laughs> um, and see, I kind of divided what I bought. Uh, I got, what well, these are craft eggs. They were in the Easter stuff, and I kind of want to cover them with aluminum foil and put alcohol inks on them and possibly do an Easter assemblage of some kind, maybe. So that's just an idea. Um, again, I was looking for things for my assemblage project. So right near the Easter stuff, they had these little um, decor boxes. They're great. Um, they actually had, let's see, have the like more rectangular ones. They had a one that was just a little bit smaller. And for the more square-ish ones, there was one that was a little bit bigger. Um, but I got these two and I thought they would be great to assemble things in. That's the same for this that was in the craft section of the Dollar Tree. And then these gift boxes. I'm going to see if they're in any good enough condition to use for assemblages. If not, they'll go in my gift wrapping stuff. Not a big loss. What else did I get? Um, I have stacks over here. I got some, well, let's see got general craft supplies. I got these little, I haven't seen this size of the metal storage containers before. And again, I thought they could be good for my assemblages. So, um, I don't have this size of glass containers. I probably have all the others that Dollar Tree carries. So I picked some of these up. I got some pop dot, the little square ones. I started to get the circles, but it felt like a lot of waste where these are the squares are like all connected so it wouldn't be as much waste. I probably have some of these already but I saw them they had a whole huge selection. This new Dollar Tree had a bunch of stuff I hadn't seen before. They had oh, what I think some like clear stencils not stencil stamps and things like that that were great but I got these butterflies and I also picked up these rub-on transfers with these fantasy and I might have this too but I wanted them. And then I got a couple organizing things. This pretty jar was over in the like plate and stuff. And then a couple of just little containers for other things. And then lastly, for fun, a pair of Mickey socks because, oh, I am a fan of Mickey. <laughs> so that's it, Dollar Tree. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot the <laughs> weird and random things I got at the Dollar Tree. So I picked up some baby dolls. <laughs> Um, I saw a video on YouTube where somebody had taken a doll head like this and painted it like white and shaved all the hair or cut all the hair off and it was super creepy and awesome. So I thought that would be really neat. But then this is just a super creepy baby doll as it is. And I can totally, oh gosh, its head is like, yeah, super creepy. Um, but I can even like pull the arms and legs off and incorporate them somehow in the assemblage. And then I got a 10 pack of um, farm animals. <laughs> Because there's just like little pigs and goats and stuff in here. So I thought that would be kind of neat too. So weird random little things. Oh y'all, I got to go to the Habitat Restore with the husband this morning. So he was looking for other things. Rugs and um, doors to make benches or uh, work tables out of. First thing I stumbled on was this bag, just labeled hardware. It was $15, which is a bit more than I would normally pay for something. Um, but it is these plates, tons of them, tons and tons and tons of them. Um, 
I was thinking on the way home that it would be really nice if I can bend them into bracelets, maybe. Um, which I might can. I'll have to get... Um, anyway, but they can make necklaces or they're great for texture on some of my assemblage. In addition to that are the handles. Um, so they've got that. Um, they would fit on these like this with a screw in the back. I think there are some, like this one, that has the pieces together. So that can work really nicely. I mean, I can screw this whole thing into the top of one of my assemblages or the side or something. So I'm super excited about this little score. I think it'll be great. Um, what else? I, put? I also got, oh, it's really funny too, y'all. These, which are like shower knobs. Can y'all see those? Um, this actually, oh, they both have the, the H on it for the hot water taps. Um, I got these two that have the caps on them and then these two do not have the caps on them um so i'm yeah i think they're cool they i mean they're hard to see i know but they could make they're really neat from the front or even the sides or i could make them the feet on something anyway i just think they're kind of neat so i grabbed four they were 25 cents each so a dollar for all of those and then for a dollar each i got some lamp glass lamp shades i these two i really like i don't know if you can see that like champagne -y, a b color to them it's really pretty i've never seen ones like this but i also found let's see another one kind of the same champagne -y, and these could be just stained oh but do you see the frosting let's see if i can find a way for you to see it the frosting on it with the flower and everything I think it's really neat so I didn't get all the ones I had of each of these but because these are ones I've never seen before I went ahead and got them um, I can always go back and get more of the like clear frosted ones that you see everywhere I've actually got some on the lamp or the fan in my craft room that I'm looking at now that are neat um, but awful for a fan in this day and age so <laughs> all right so I'm gonna go play for a little bit I've, and we'll see. There may be more this week, but I, you know, yeah, we'll see. Sorry for the mess and the lighting, and I'm still juggling everything around here. So if that's it, thanks for watching, and give me a thumbs up, and make sure to subscribe. All right, thanks, y'all. Bye.